coming up in this video. From the uncanny to the jump scare, what you're about to experience will give you full-on nightmares. These are the 30 scary videos that genuinely freak me out. Number 30. Columbian Witch A witch was captured on camera in a cemetery performing some sort of ritual. TikToker JP's World of Mysteries shares footage of the mysterious event. According to some in the comments, she tells the onlookers to leave her in peace. Many are as confused by what's behind the witch as they are with her performance. Watch the thing covered by the white sheet. From the witch's laugh to the mysterious object moving behind her, this whole scenario is terrifying to me. I'm not sure what type of ritual she is performing, but I don't want to be near it when it comes to flourishing. Number 29. Shadow Figure TikToker Smug Puppy is fending off shadow figures again, and these figures have now developed glowing red eyes. They're sneaky and fast, so watch closely. Door. Yeah, this one. No, other side, door. That one? No, the door, bedroom door. Oh. With the um, dressing gowns behind. Oh. There's literally no space there, so... Okay. Keys! Oh my... They show viewers that there's nothing behind the door. Careful. Nothing there. Just go to the door and show you them behind. It's just dressing gowns. Yeah. Nothing's there, at least nothing that she can see, but a moment later, this happens. Put the camera back on there, point it back. I'm just... Ah! Ah! There is... Oh, f sake. I told you! <sighs> she has a number of bruises on her legs allegedly caused by these shadow figures. Show the other leg. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. But some in the comments are in doubt that this is real. Others are not so skeptical. All I can say is, if this is real, I don't think I'd be approaching that room until the demon's been exercised. Only then would I feel safe in this room. Number 28. Waiting Room Ghost You're not the only one waiting for eternity at the DMV. Some have been waiting so long, they've passed away from boredom, literally. Shared by YouTuber El Gap Terror, this scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video's original source is unknown. This man may not be waiting at the DMV, but what he captures on camera in a waiting room is strange and unexplained. According to the video, he is waiting for his sister at school when he decides to take a random video. A dark, semi-transparent figure appears right in front of the man recording the footage. Do you see it? How can you explain this? Is the camera's refocusing causing a momentary figure to appear? Or is someone here waiting for their demise? Personally, I wouldn't wait around with it to find out. 
Number 27. Paranormal Happenings Have you ever had an experience that convinced you to believe in the paranormal? YouTuber Rusty Nut Paranormal has. He writes that these three experiences are what sparked his interest in paranormal activity. This happened in his home. Just watch. dark, indistinct shadow approaches the side of their bed. Then a pale mist floats through their door and across the shadow figure. On another occasion, one of their black cats is being pet by a semi-transparent hand. And in this last clip, the door opens from the inside. He checks to see if someone is messing around with him, but no one's there. I agree with all those in the comments who say this is enough proof to convince me. I'd be suspicious after seeing or experiencing any one of these events. Number 26. Devil's Monastery You'll need to say your prayers if you're planning to spend a night in this creepy monastery. YouTuber Franco TV braves an overnighter at the haunted place known as the Devil's Monastery and he immediately starts feeling unsettled. Alright, I made it back out here, and it is f***ing horrifying, and it starts kind of like pushing me in towards the church, where I feel like I'm protected slightly until I start having other weird encounters inside. This time isn't any different for Franco. Once inside, he hears something. Look what they did. They completely took down the cross and leaned it up against the wall. I think it was upstairs. So he heads upstairs, but then starts hearing things downstairs. What the f heard. And I have my stuff right there. Franco heads back down to the room to investigate. It legit sounds like moving. At first, he doesn't hear anything more significant, but then, as he continues forward, this is heard. Did you hear it? Something did legit move, and as he continues to search the haunted place, he hears yet another spooky voice. Check over here. This place is paranormal gold, and in my opinion, Franco's got some guts to visit this demonic place solo. I'd either need a posse to join me, or I'd have to steer clear of this pure evil. Number 25. Poisoned Ghost A woman was poisoned in this house, and her ghost is reputed to haunt the place. YouTuber Thiago Fericao and his partner Thais visits, and their encounter is one of the most chilling they've ever experienced. As they circle the house, the poisoned woman makes her first appearance. They enter the home and find the furniture in tatters, and then they hear this. Ah. 
Cara, olha essa casa. Olha, eu vi uma mulher aqui, ó. Tá... As Thiago goes in search of the woman, Tyus sees something. Oh, que que é isso? Oh, o quadro mexeu, gente. Huh? Eu vi. O oh, porta, 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 porta. They search the house but find nothing. But as they're leaving, this happens. Cara, o céu. Que isso, Elito? Que voa? Ai, foi, velho. One of the team is confronted by the poisoned woman, or whatever demon poisoned her. I think Thiago is right that it's time to leave this house before they're confronted even more aggressively. Number 24 Ghost Sighting A neighbor's door camera captured what Redditor Ancient Conference 39 believes is a real ghost sighting. See for yourself. A semi-transparent figure drifts across the street. Prior to this capture, another neighbor said that a couple of weeks prior, they saw the ghost of a girl standing in front of a van. Redditors have theories as to who or what it could be. All jokes aside, many think this is just a case of a bad security camera with slow shutter speed or the usual suggestion, a bug, but coupled with the other strange events and sightings in the area. I'd be keen to believe too. Number 23. Poltergeist Activity Is this baby causing its toy to levitate? YouTube channel ScaryVid uploaded this creepy poltergeist activity on camera. The baby lies awake in its crib, while a stuffed animal levitates and then falls repeatedly on the bed. I think either this baby has superpowers, or the parents should move it out of this room ASAP. Number 22. Dangerous Poltergeist what would you do if you met with the most dangerous poltergeist in the world? YouTuber Tim Morozov has, and this is how it went down. The demon beneath the floorboards is tormenting him but so is the one right next to him. What just happened? Take a closer look. Tim just had a blade thrown at him. The poltergeist then tries to disguise itself to lure Tim in. I'd run fast and far away from this house too. There's something sinister in here, and I think it's trying to take his life. Number 21 Penhurst State Asylum Something lurks in the tunnels of Penhurst State Asylum, and YouTube team Adelaide Haunted Horizons is here to find it. As they're listening to a recording, their music box device is triggered. Music box. Come on. It's in there. Alright, we said anything, thank you. It's all in that room. But they soon find out a bug triggered it. That's me setting it off now. So there's your bug. It's a 
It's a Cape Cricket and it keeps setting our music box off. Although that one may be explained later during an Estee session, they get some eerie messages. He's coming. Oh, nice explanation. Who's coming? Nice explanation. Who's coming? Who's coming? We don't get an answer to that, but we do get probably one of the creepiest responses I've ever heard happen during one of these sessions, and that's because it's in sync with the ghost box. Sammy. 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 They both say to Denny at the exact same time, who is Denny? What does this mean? Unfortunately, we don't find out. But I'm certain Danny must have been a patient at Penhurst, and if I were the Adelaide team, I'd be digging up research about the history of this former patient. It may be the key to getting some answers about this place. Number 20. Nightmare Fuel This artistry is pure nightmare fuel. Andrea Rica shares this boogeyman feature on TikTok that will have you checking under your bed tonight. You don't want this guy showing up at your doorstep. Especially since he already has a key to enter. While this is obviously CGI, everyone who watched it is crying in fear. I agree with everyone who says they nearly threw their phone across the room. I did too, and I never want to find it again. Because this video is giving me the chills. Number 19. House of Creepy Dolls. Everything is left behind in these abandoned houses. Most notably, multiple creepy dolls. YouTube team sees crazy crossroads, investigate multiple abandoned dwellings, and truly anything could be in this pile of everything left behind. Whoa, what's up there? You heard that creak? Yeah, <laughs> I sure did. As they continue through the mess, they hear something again. What do you hear? Hello. Literally anyone or anything could be hiding in this debris. In a second abandoned home, they hear things again. Hey, I hear some whispers. And here's where they come across the creepy dolls. And maybe these dolls are coming to life. What the f is that? Dude, what the f is that? that is, I heard glass break outside. I just heard glass break in here. Holy f on edge. I have no doubt that someone is in here with him. Only a human or a poltergeist could have broken glass with such force. Number 18. Poltergeist activity. Some paranormal entities don't like being investigated. YouTube team Spirit Brothers UK is being growled at by this one. They set up a paranormal device in this haunted space. Come on guys, so what we're going to do is just going to throw another stone in here because we've heard it again. Their device starts to go off. And this is what they capture on their recording device. That's in that room. Oh, no. What is that horrible voice? I don't want to know what evil made this sound, but I think it's in the room with them. Number 17. Leave. While at Woodlawn's jail, YouTube team Blue Line Paranormal finds they are not welcome. The other two individuals in the video are Kay and Andre Salazar. Kay and Gage Mansfield were the ones filming this interaction. 
The team tells the spirits they're going to leave, and they respond. Hey, we're leaving. Whoa. Wait, you hear that? That's the REM pod in jail, though. Well, yeah, I hear that. Holy A REM pod goes off in the jail cell. They go to check it out. Look at that. And nobody has walked through here or anything. Ooh. This goes on for a long while, and the REM pod's response intensifies. Wow. Sounds like a police siren. Yeah. It's getting more intense. The spirit triggers it so much that it kills the REM pod entirely. No, it's dead. That is completely dead. With this degree of response, I'm not sure whether the spirits wanted them to leave or were protesting their departure. Either way, they sure seem to be reacting excessively. Number 16. Unexplained. This haunted doll room is giving YouTube team SS3 Paranormal the creeps. The team keeps a security camera in the room, and it's been capturing unexplained noises. Listen closely. You'll hear a bang, scratching near the mic, and also what sounds like a breath. There also appears to be an orb floating near the possessed dolls. The orb could be dust, but the noises unsettle me. Are the dolls coming alive in this room? I'd have a hard time entering after hearing that strange breath. Number 15. Something out there. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Burton Boy 1999 this Redditor wrote, There's something other than coyotes, wolves, and foxes. Can you hear it? I'm not sure how well it shows up and who all can hear it. Right before I go to turn around, I got the wildest chill down my back hearing that sound. But I seriously think there's something a lot larger in these woods. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Shadow Marine 1X wrote, I can kinda hear it, but I couldn't imagine being right there listening to all that. The whole clip sounds scary to me. Well, Roger that hunter thinks it's a werewolf. What do you think is responsible for making these noises? Let me know in the comments. Number 14. Huffman House. While on a tour of the Huffman House, YouTube team, Outsider Paranormal SW receives some valid responses through their paranormal devices. Thomas Jefferson Huffman, are you here? It's me. It's me. After they receive confirmation that one of the Huffmans is in the house, they are told to leave. No. I thought it said get him. But do they listen? No, they don't. Even when something starts to whisper over their shoulder. Can you do that again, please? Who was that? Something is in the house with them, and from the sounds of it, I think it's a long departed Huffman. Number 13. Demon House. Don't take your chances with this haunted place. It's home to a demon. YouTube team Toppy do take the risk, and they soon hear voices not far off. <laughs> Oh. 
They think these voices are coming from outside. But this paranormal activity makes me think otherwise. A steady cam captures this in an empty room. I even hear some taps after the door opens, but it's what happens later that really convinces me. <laughs> they hear footsteps in the snow, and then this happens. Something is heard right behind them, but they're on the second floor. Even after falling out of his chair, he asks for another sign. Something is knocking on the window, and I must reiterate, they're on the second floor, so who could it be? Like I said, I'm more than convinced that this place is haunted, and if they aren't careful, the demon will soon be coming for them. Number 12. Blanket Tugger After moving recently, Redditor Key Record 8141 writes that this started happening again. Just watch. Something appears to be tugging on the Redditor's blanket while they sleep. Is it an entity? Some in the comments think there's a logical explanation. I agree, it's probably not restless leg syndrome. Unless there's a fan in the room, I think something unseen wants to give this Redditor insomnia. Number 11. The Djinn In this abandoned place, the Djinn is at full force, and YouTuber Hassan Barbar encounters his terrible presence. It begins with the slamming of a door. <laughs> The search continues, and the jinn grows more aggressive. And he's around every corner. Although Hassan searches the whole place, he only captures a glimpse of the jinn. Where is the jinn hiding? Maybe that's best left unanswered. I don't think I'd want to find him. Number 10. Poltergeist Captured Upon entering a haunted place, 
Oftentimes, you know you're not welcome. That's what happened to the YouTube team, Dref David TV, when they entered this haunt. Hello? Something is thrown down the stairs at the team. You can tell it didn't fall, it was thrown. <laughs> Although we can't see what threw this object, I'd take this as a sign that this spirit is a Grinch. Number 9. The Poltergeist is back. After having a bout of inactivity in their very haunted house, YouTubers Laney and Ben are back with new poltergeist interactions. They perform a ritual to try and contact their known poltergeists, and their poltergeists appear to oblige. Well, kind of. Can you manipulate the light on this candle, this flame? The spirit doesn't follow directions. Can you do that again, David? Can you do the K2 again? <laughs> Long time no speak, poor Dave. Laney and Ben have previously discovered one of their poltergeists is named David. Listen closely as David speaks through a spirit app. That sounded like the spirit said David to me. He's confirming he's there, but what does he want? It looks to me like Laney and Ben will have to dig deeper to find out. Number 8. Demon Shows Itself when you play games with the devil, you're gonna get burned. YouTube team Taboo Paranormal are attempting to interact with a demon, and as they perform a blindfold ritual, the demon is revealed. <laughs> Watch closely while Nastya sits patiently waiting. Did you see it? A black mist moves past behind Nastia. No one is in the room with her, so I don't think that was a shadow being cast by something off screen. I believe that was pure evil behind Nastia and I'm sure it was closer than she knows to attaching itself to her. Number 7. Vengeful Spirit Is this the work of a vengeful spirit? YouTuber Top 5 Paranormal shares this video of an unusual, unexplained event. They were unable to recall where this video was originally from, and I was unable to track it down either. Just watch what happens. Some are saying a vengeful spirit flew down to bash this glass tabletop. In fact, if you look closely, you can see something that appears to fly down and back up again. Is it an orb? Maybe, but in my opinion, it could be a ball or other objects thrown from above or from another room. The video appears to have been slowed down, which makes the thrown object appear more like an orb. So is this an angry poltergeist or something more easily explained? Share your theories in the comments. Number 6. Extraterrestrial Sighting this extraterrestrial sighting in Las Vegas is shocking the internet. Shared by YouTuber Black Collar Project, 
The guy in the video says he saw a thin creature standing about 8 to 10 feet tall in his backyard. He called his dad, and this is what they captured on camera. <laughs> Here's a closer look. What is that thing? Some in the comments are believers, while others have their reservations. Script or not, I believe him. You can hear real fear in their voices, and their reaction seems legit. This extraterrestrial is here on a mission, and I hope it's not to destroy us all. Number 5. Followed The Randonautica experience is always unique, especially this one. Well, on their random adventure, YouTube team Near Shadows is followed inside a creepy abandoned building at night. What is it? They think they hear something inside, and then footsteps. Look it! This is where we've seen this. Look. We look through and it said they keep hearing noises in the giant warehouse. Oh my <laughs> Things are getting weird now. <laughs> Is it real or are they paranoid? We gotta keep our light down a little bit because we're hearing really weird noises. It sounds like people. Are they being followed? It sure seems that way to me. But the real question is, if they are being followed, what are the stalker's intentions? Number 4. Henry's House YouTuber Stromedy goes to visit the infamous Conjuring House. It's known for being one of the most haunted houses in all of America. Right away when you walk in, the spirit's presence can be felt, almost like your equilibrium's off. This place definitely has one of the creepiest vibes I've ever been to. We're going in the basement. He hears there was a spirit named Henry living upstairs. He decides to try and communicate with it. One of the most active rooms in the house. It's supposed to be haunted by a little boy spirit named Henry. He's supposed to hide out inside this closet. Can you give us another sign with the light, Henry? Mm. Yes or no? That was all we saw. I imagine they would leave soon after that. I know I would. Number 3. Haunted Fort Mifflin Located in Philadelphia, Fort Mifflin is known for its role in the Revolutionary and Civil Wars, and considering this history, it's also said to be haunted. YouTuber Katrina Weidman and her team head there to investigate. Using a photon camera built by Zach, who's an electrical engineer, the team captures movement and sounds inside the fort. This occurred in the Powder Magazine. The team says no one was near the place at the time this was captured. A little later, Zack is running a thermal camera outside, where he captures this. I just hear a scream. I don't think that was the girls. I don't know if this is recording audio, but I just heard a scream. When the team is later all together again, they get a spark on the Tesla coil. Hey, can you touch the uh, Tesla coil? Yeah, I heard that. I don't know if I see it, but I hear it. Was this where you stayed during solitary confinement? 
To me, this seems like solid evidence to suggest that Fort Mifflin is indeed haunted. And it sounds to me like a former prisoner here continues to live out his afterlife in solitary confinement. Number 2. Shadow Figure The Great Salt Air in Salt Lake City is full of secrets. YouTube team Broken Wings Paranormal joins forces with Cold Spot Paranormal and discovers a giant figure is lurking in this spooky place. Is he dancing? Can you raise your arm? Like this? Wave high? Hand up? They capture the figure on the Kinect device in a dark room. Is it a giant? Look how huge that is. I know. Can you bend over and touch your toes? It's growing. Its head is like almost off the screen on the little side. Josh tries to reach out and touch it, and he feels something supernatural. No, but I feel tinglys on my fingertips. Stand up and let's see what happens. Oh, look at it leaning the other way. It's like it's propping itself up with its elbow. As Josh gets closer, the entity disappears. Where he is. Oh, oh now he he's left. Gone. You put your arm on it now. You touched just, him and he left. And he just. Really? Yeah. The okay. minute you make contact. In a surprising turn of events, it looks like the ghost got frightened by the living. It seems to me that Josh entered the spirit's personal space, and they didn't like it at all. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Desjarnet Children's Asylum, a place where children were used as objects of experimentation by a madman? How could this asylum not be haunted? YouTube team The Paranormal Patch visit the Desjarnet Children's Asylum, one of the worst in medical history. As they begin their investigation, they catch a disembodied voice on camera. They continue their search of the place, and around 3 a.m., the witching hour, they see a dark shadow. Deciding there's nothing there, they continue on, and while on an empty floor, Kaylee starts feeling scratches on her neck. Let's, let's look at it, because sometimes it'll get redder and redder. Where is it at? Point it out. Is it red? That's where I felt it. There is a deep scratch on her neck, but as the team is worried about the spirits coming to haunt them, it's the living they should be worried about. While Kaylee keeps insisting the noises are a bat, I'm pretty sure people are squatting in this place. Or maybe it's the madman, Dr. Desjarnet, coming for them. Either way, that genuinely freaked me out. 